Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Inobayude Siri'ili and today I'm going to be talking about the eight types of intelligence. And one of the reasons why I decided to pick this type is because many we teachers are faced with the challenges of, you know, parents like guardians choosing the career for their kids without understanding the type of intelligence the kid has. We have eight types of intelligence. We have the verbal slash linguistic intelligence. We have the logical slash mathematical intelligence. We have the musical slash rhythmic intelligence. We have the body slash kinetics intelligence. We have the intrapersonal intelligence. We have the interpersonal intelligence. We have the um, visual slash spatial intelligence. And finally, we have the naturalistic intelligence. Now, a child can have more than one intelligence. And it's very important that a child is observed right from birth to know where the child should fit in. Now, when parents insist because they are doctors or lawyers that their children must be that way, they tend to um, not look exactly what the child, the kind of intelligence a child has. And that could make a child who is intelligent not to do well in the field that he is not supposed to be in. So I'm appealing to parents to please watch the video that I'm going to be merging with this video to understand the eight types of intelligence before they choose a career for their children so that their children can continue to excel. In this area, we are stuck with um, adults who are in a profession that they are not passionate about. And it's really very bad. It's very important that what you do for a living is something that you should love doing so that you can enjoy doing it and make an impact. But when you're doing something that you don't like doing, you'll find out that you'll be frustrated. So I'm appealing to parents, please watch this video and understand the kind of intelligence your children have so that you can direct them in the right way. And so... Please watch to the end of the video because I'm going to be merging the eight types of intelligence video to this video and try to observe and even find out the kind of intelligence that you are and observe your um, work. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share my video. Bye! So when you think of intelligence, you normally think of the one intelligence that most people refer to and that is intellectual intelligence. And Howard Gardner says there are actually multiple types of intelligence. And I'm going to go through them with this video. Now the first is called logical mathematical intelligence. And this is basically what you think of when you think of intellectual intelligence. This would be stuff like logic, or um, if you're good at taking tests, you will probably have pretty high logical mathematical intelligence. Um, this also has to do a lot with critical thinking and making and reading graphs as well as organization. If you like to organize your stuff and keep it very organized and are good at organizing it, then you probably have very high logical mathematical intelligence. Now the second one is called verbal linguistic. And if you have high verbal linguistic intelligence, you are probably good at saying that word. You are good at poems, you are good at rhyming words, finding words that rhyme, you are good at reading and writing, and you're good at learning other languages. You learn them pretty quickly compared to other people. And you're probably great at turning a little tiny story into a huge, fascinating story that can enthrall an entire room. The third is interpersonal. And interpersonal intelligence would be like understanding other people's emotions. Understanding what the social etiquette and norms are of this situation. You have to be able to be good at reception to other people's moods and what motivates them. If you are a business administrator and you're good at motivating someone, you probably have pretty high interpersonal intelligence. If you're a good leader or just a manager in general, and you can coordinate work with other people, you are probably really intelligent in this interpersonal field. The fourth is body kinesthetic, which means you are good at handling and maneuvering your own body. You can handle objects skillfully and basically move them around however you want them to, as well as your body. People that are very intelligent in the body kinesthetic field are dancers, actors, soldiers, and even many sports athletes. The fifth is musical intelligence, and this is, and this is associated with rhythmic and harmonic music. Being able to interpret sounds, rhythms and tones and pitches, and being able to understand them on a level that most people can't understand. If you're good at this, you can probably compose or at least play an instrument. The next is visual spatial. And this is like basically how well can you visualize something in your mind's eye? How well can you think of something in your mind? And another example of this would be can, how well can you get through a maze? Can you see it in your mind's eye where you're at in the maze or a cornfield? And Gardner went so far as to say that this could even be used as to judging distances. Or how well can you read a map? 
And the next type of intelligence is called intrapersonal intelligence. And this is different from interpersonal intelligence. Intrapersonal intelligence is more about how you understand yourself. Are you self-aware? Do you know what feelings you are feeling? What emotions go through your mind when you are in certain situations? How well can you control your thoughts and actions and feelings in general? Do you know your strengths and weaknesses? And the last, which came out a couple years after Howard Gardner came out with his multiple intelligences theory, is called natural intelligence, naturalistic intelligence. And this has to do with being able to recognize stuff in the real world. Basically, flowers and trees and anything that's living. Hunters and fishermen are pretty intelligent in the naturalistic field. So are chefs and botanists that can grow plants. And basically anyone that has learned in any biological science is pretty intelligent in the naturalistic field. Anyways, my next video is going to be on how you can improve these. How you can become a better person through improving each one of these single intelligences to become a better human being, a smarter, a more intelligent being. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos like this soon. Thanks for watching.